and welcome in. I am Miss Kingon and we are back here with another Sims 4 speed build. And this time we are back in the Costa Ono uh, world that came with Lovestruck. So it's only my second build here. I feel like I kind of forgotten this world existed. I wasn't a great lover of it when it first came out and I'm probably not still a great lover. But anyway, we are back here with another penthouse, and this time we are going industrial. So, yeah, um, I had a bit of fun with this one. I've not done an industrial build for a while. I quite like the sort of style. It's very different to my normal style, I have to be fair, but I, yeah, I kind of liked it. And this is totally inspired by the new Artist Studio kit. Um, so I wanted to do a kind of artist's loft kind of penthouse for maybe like a successful painter kind of um, something along those lines. So that's what we're doing in here. And as you can see, we have got the shell all out and going. So lots of sort of brickwork in here. There's a lot of brickwork on the inside as well. And then I wanted sort of some black kind of like kind of concrete in a way and we actually used the one from the desert lux which works perfectly um for this in here just adds in that nice little pops here and there so i wanted it to have lots of sort of roof sort of terrace very much kind of inspired by like penthouses from like new york and things like that so definitely kind of wanted to get some of those in um, not necessarily saying this is anything like that, I just wanted a really nice big kind of industrial loft in here using a lot of the, well, the only windows are from Machino in here. Um, I feel like that perk worked really well with kind of like these big industrial kind of windows and doors and things like that. And we do use a few other bits and pieces from the kit, but we've also got pla um, platforms in here as well. Because I wanted to raise this all up and have kind of some nice little terraces at the front here. Now this is only a 20 by 20 lot and I've got to be fair it's not really a 20 by 20 it's more of like an 18 by 18 because they're counting the white squares on the edge as part of it and I don't really know why because you can't do anything with them so <laughs> It, it made it a little bit weird and a, a little bit of an odd one but as you can sort of see basically everything that is covered in the black um, sort of flooring here that is part of the lot in here so we didn't have much space and I knew I wanted to get Paul in here but I think I made this house too big and it works proportionally well it works fine it could just have been maybe a tile smaller um, and then that would have given me more space outside, but we do get in a round sort of plunge pool I guess is probably the better word for the swim pool rather than an actual kind of relaxing pool um, I've got some sun chairs out there um, Just a nice kind of little space if they wanted to kind of come out there and enjoy it maybe in like the summer or something But it's not like their kind of go-to space um, you'll definitely sort of see where those spaces are when we come to all of the interior and stuff in here. But uh, yes, at the moment we are placing lots of ivy, lots of kind of items on the outside just to try and, and plants and stuff like that, trying to make it look and feel a little bit more kind of cosy and a little bit more lived in rather than just sort of plonked down on the top of this building. It doesn't really fit on the top here. But I didn't really know where else to really do this. I could have looked at doing it in um, San Machuno, but I feel like I've done so many builds there recently and I kind of wanted to like come away from that a little while. So I thought this would be another one where we could have a nice penthouse and things like that. Maybe I'll do some apartments in the future. I don't know, let me know down in the comments if you would like to see some like, maybe some really short, little um, kind of videos where we do apartments and things like that, I don't know. But uh, yes, here is the outside all kind of done, we've got in the pool, as I say it is really small, in there a couple of chairs, and then I don't really place too much more sort of down there, there's not really space for anything else, 
we kind of get the rest of like the um, sort of decorations up on um, sort of the other terraces because we have two other terraces to um, sort of fill in and uh, make use of. But uh, yes, coming up with some wall decorations just to kind of go and make it look a little bit more interesting from the exterior. Lots of, sort of decals here and there. But uh, yes, how are you liking the new kits? Um, let me know in the comments which is your favourite of the two and what do we all think of the new love sh um no <laughs> this is love struck <laughs> what do we need to think of the new life and death um expansion pack it's coming out very soon i we've seen the first initial trailer at this point um i'm kind of a bit like mm, okay it seems a little bit gameplay heavy which is fine we haven't had anything like that for a while so um i'm I don't know. I'm a builder. I don't really pay care about CADs or gameplay or anything like that. I'm just a builder. <laughs> so there are some new items I've seen in the trailer that I'm super looking forward to getting in and building with and doing things like that. Um, we'll obviously definitely have some content for that. Um, it's coming out at such a weird time, unfortunately. Um, I'm going away. We also have the new Plant Coaster coming out. Um, there are lots of other games that I would like to get up on my YouTube that have come out that I just don't have time for. And yeah, it's gonna be a really confusing kind of busy time. Like I started to do a build the other day, um, I actually started recording for it, um, that's coming out Christmas. But because I know in my head I'm gonna be so busy, I'm like, right, I'm just gonna do landscaping of like lots of different builds and then I can just pluck the house down at a later date so I can get little bits done here and there. It kind of feels like I'm cheating however um, because they're not all done at the same time like I would normally do but I know I'm going to be so busy in sort of like November, December um, so yeah I'm actually going away for my birthday and then I'm probably going to be going away again just before Christmas so I have so much sort of going on that time and also obviously Christmas itself um, so yeah end of the year is going to be a busy one and I hope and I pray at this point that it's not going to affect any of my schedules but I will let you know closer to the dates it may well be that you kind of have pre-recorded videos and maybe the builds aren't out quite yet I don't know but as I say I will let you know when we come to those but anyway you have seen me do all of the roof terraces so we do have a hot tub in here we have a kind of dining kind of patio as well so we've got the chairs we've got a little bar out there we also have um, barbecue and things like that in there and uh, now we are coming in to the inside and we have got a lift coming in here as well or elevator for you Americans in there um, that's come out this is actually the new one um, it's a little bit more of an art deco kind of one but I actually quite like how that looks and then a little sort of space that's maybe like kind of a bit more open to like anybody can kind of come up there and then you have your front door although I would kind of presume and I don't necessarily know off the top of my head um, that maybe it's like a building where you would have like a key card and you would have to put that in to get to the penthouse or like a special code that takes the lift up that far I don't know but that's kind of what I was doing it's nothing special out there um, there literally is just the mailbox and the um, trash chute thing that you have to have in any of these builds in here but yeah we're working on the floor plan so I do manage to make this into a two bedroom three bathroom um it as i say i kind of made this slightly too big and the complete sort of middle floor like the second floor of this is a bit of a strange one um you'll see as i get in i kind of actually stop and look at it for probably about an hour and i um and ah uh, and i change the floor plan and i change everything and then i put it all back because i do not know what to do with the middle floor here um i did think about making it into another bedroom but decided i didn't really like that idea and yeah 
you you'll see what we do with it in the end but yeah it's not kind of my best work let's put it that way but i really do love how this whole sort of build in total comes out so we have lots of exposed brick we have the sort of concrete flooring going down at least on this floor which i think is gorgeous i love kind of that sort of industrial kind of feel um to it sort of all stripped back we've got lots of sort of like the steel beams and steel columns and stairs and everything that i didn't limit myself on the terms of the number of packs or things like that that we've used what i have done is if i've used a pack i've tried to use it a lot and i do that quite a bit that i f i use like one item from a pack it has to be like the only item we have to kind of make it worthwhile using that item um i don't tend to normally sort of do that if i can help it but um yeah we uh i didn't want to restrict myself because i knew it's a style that i really like but i don't do very often so i've kind of tried to do as much as I can with it, if that makes any sense. Um, so, but there is lots of clutter around the place. There is a very lived in kind of feel to this whole sort of build. And I have play tested and everything works. And I did have to kind of move a few things in there to make them work. But you'll sort of see at the end of the screenshots, it is all working fine. And I do actually have some Sims on the lot to play test and to try things out and get artwork and things like that all in place but yes this is the big sort of living kind of space in here um it's kind of more of a formal living space i have to be fair i feel like this is a house where they do a lot of like entertaining they have a lot of friends around lots of sort of people that come maybe to have a chat like they have drinks they kind of can socialize in kind of like small little group sort of thing this is kind of like one of the spaces that they would sort of be into maybe they would like push the chair up to the wall or and to make maybe like a little dance floor or something like that something i wanted it to be a really nice kind of space that you can use in kind of a magnitude of different ways um but i do also put a tv kind of room and a separate sort of living kind of traditional sort of living room as it were with like a tv and stuff up on the top floor by the bedrooms and i feel like that's probably a better kind of tv area kind of living space rather than this one in here now you did also see me do double heighted bookshelves now <laughs> yes i have done that on both sides of this sort of glass kind of fireplace in here i felt like this sort of fireplace here it looks good but I don't think it would necessarily be usable and it isn't actually usable in game. I did try to get them to use it but it is up on a double um, platform height and your sim can't actually get up there to light it. I kind of presume that they would be able to light it from further away. So at this point with it in my head it works. Unfortunately when we come to playtesting it doesn't and I couldn't or chose not to lower it down so it's on the flat level it's just a small little thing it's more of a decorative feature than something that i think you would all sort of want to use and stuff like that but yes um to get to the top books i they're decorative let's put it that way um <laughs> and to be fair there is so much clutter in front of the bookshelves that you can't really actually use the bookshelves so it doesn't really make much sense but we are now into the little art studio over here now i use pretty much everything in here from the new kit i love this new kit i have to be fair i think out of all of the kits maybe so far this is probably my favorite oh it's very much it's in like the top three of new kits um yeah it's kind of although it's kind of a very niche kind of area i think that's perfect for a kit to kind of be that little niche kind of i just want to decorate this room i want to do this um and obviously some of my other favorite packs is like the everyday cloud up because it's so usable but i think if i'm going to make an art studio i'm going to be using this stuff 
rather than the base game or kind of stuff that we've got from other packs. I hope that kind of makes sense to you all. Um, let me know down in the comments what's your favourite uh, kit of all time, which of the ones do you prefer, um, do you have this new kit um, in here, are you looking forward to getting it if you haven't already. Um, I kind of wanted this to be a very much an open kind of art studio where they would have somebody like a model come in and then do like portraits and things like that that was kind of my thinking in my head that maybe they have people come in for like sittings and where you get like a painting at the end of it that's kind of what i had in my head is like this is a like world famous or it's that kind of artist that you would go to to have your portrait taken if you're royalty if you're a celebrity if you're like somebody of some importance it's a very expensive kind of thing to do and that's kind of what i wanted in my head and that's what i tried to put out in um into this kind of area and space in here but uh now on to the dining area in here now i did kind of curtain this off and i feel like maybe if they're doing like artwork or something on somebody famous or they didn't or somebody didn't want to be seen or maybe it's a slightly risque should we say painting you can kind of close those curtains off and it's have like its own little space that's kind of what i was thinking in here but this also does double up as the dining room so we have this gorgeous sort of old table in here and i was trying to kind of mix in the different sort of old and the new and the kind of industrial and kind of worn kind of furniture in here and i hope it all kind of comes together really well and i hope you kind of understand that that like the industrial isn't always brand new kind of metal kind of furniture it is kind of a little bit more used kind of things so using these chairs and they're actually kind of mismatched chairs because i've used some from cats and dogs and also some from horse ranch um they're all of like the same sort of colour and but they all work in there really really well and it feels like it's somewhere where you could sit down with as I say friends, family, something like that to kind of have a nice kind of chilled out like friends over for dinner or like a big party or something like that. That's kind of what I really wanted to kind of get across lots of sort of space and different areas to entertain and things like that and we do get in a fair few bars in throughout all of this so there is one outside on uh, one of the terraces there's this one here as well and um, yeah it's just a nice kind of entertaining sort of space which yeah and I've also got in the clown painting um, I was kind of going through the category um, art of artwork trying to come up with some way to get in as many sort of portraits and stuff as I possibly could and found the clown and thought you know what perfect it works it's gonna go in here as well but now we're on to the kitchen now I do apologize for this being really dark there isn't that many windows in here and I could have added more windows in but I didn't really want to kind of I feel like I always add in way too many windows when it comes to my builds so I really kind of wanted to sort of minimalize the amount of window space in here and especially as this bit I feel like maybe is part of like a kind of extension that they've kind of put in um, at least at some point maybe the kitchen was in the art studio and they've kind of built this little space out here to kind of create a new sort of kitchen in here in its own sort of theme that's kind of what I was thinking for this as well but we do have a big island here in the middle and then lots of counters and stuff these are base game counters I don't know whether these were done in the latest sort of swatch update but this counter seems to have so many new swatches I I don't recall when that was added on um, let me know if it's part of the new sw um, swatch update that we got a couple of weeks ago I, I don't know honestly <laughs> I just sort of went in and was having a look for like industrial kind of kitchens and this sort of came up and I thought oh okay we'll go for the swatches of this and found this one and it worked out really really well so I do also place a few decorative sort of marks and scratches on the floor I feel like maybe if they're using lots of sort of metal items in the kitchen and they've kind of dragged it on the floor it's 
scratched it and things like that that's kind of what I was thinking for those with like the chairs and maybe the fridge freezer or things like that but uh, yes now we are jumping in here now I have cut out a lot of this build and I do apologize it's basically the middle floor you'll see in the screenshots um, I had such a hard time kind of coming up with an idea for there. I've kind of put in a kind of an office space. It's all very much open plan. So one section of it opens down into where the living area is. And that I kind of wanted like that sort of half wall kind of area in there. And then that has like the office in there. I do also have like a um, table, um, ping pong table and um, we also have the bubbles and things like that because I really want it to be an entertainment space but it's very very kind of it's not empty but I've, it's got like big items in it but they're kind of a bit all over the place and I, and I recorded it all over the place and it just didn't really make much sense to me so I kind of ended up cutting basically the whole floor out of this in here but this is the little TV area that I said about which um, I love putting the TV on the sort of easel it's something I've seen lots of people do on different YouTube videos and I thought that would work really well in here for this kind of industrial kind of look and I really didn't have anywhere to place a TV on a wall there was no real sort of space so placing it diagonally across there worked out really really well and it is usable and although I don't show it in the screenshots it is play tested and it does work so that's all fine in here now we are on to the bedrooms this one here is kind of a bit more of a spare bedroom as I say I wanted lots of entertainment space lots of um, room for sort of guests um, to come over maybe they go in the pool maybe in the hot tub for like entertainment and things like that and I thought maybe your friends are wanting just to crash for the night and you have the perfect little space for them in here. So that's kind of what I was thinking and wanting for this little space here. It is an ensuite um, in here. I do also not show you any of the bathrooms because you know what I'm like for my bathrooms. They're all pretty much exactly the same. So yeah, again using lots of kind of the metal and wood kind of furniture in here and uh, yeah now we're on to the main sort of um sort of bedroom in here um i did do this for a couple and i really wanted this to be kind of like their space in here so huge big bed um in here using lots from love truck i kind of purposely wanted to use lots of items from that because i knew we were in the world and it kind of doesn't work anywhere else you kind of need the world to make this make sense so i wanted to use lots of those sort of items in here and uh yeah i thought why not kind of go all out in there i did also want the um kind of the big bed and uh things like that and i think those big pendant lights i would really like one of those pendant lights in real life I have to prefer those sort of big sort of gold um, lights with it dropping down. I think they're gorgeous and I've used them a couple of times now. But uh, a nice little entertainment kind of space in here. They've kind of got like a music um, speaker, a little bit of artwork, a little bit of decoration, a little bit of clutter in here. I feel like this space, although it looks quite big, it was actually quite a pain to kind of decorate in here because there wasn't much I could really do given the fact that it is such an odd sort of shape and uh, things like that and the bathrooms ended up being quite small they were only a 3 by 2 which is fine but it makes putting in decorations and sort of the things in there quite small but I was very limited when it comes to them because of the windows and I couldn't change the windows once I had done all that but anyway we are coming up to the end of this video if you have enjoyed it then please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below you can also subscribe to my channel or find me on any of my other social medias the links to those are down in the description but until next time bye everyone